Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see, why PWHT is performed. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. QW10, post valid treatment. In that, first of all, why we are post valid treatment is required. One reason is already given to refine the coarse grain to make it more fine due to service but the reason is due to service but why yeah to reduce the uh, residual stresses that is uh, absolutely right okay anything else what we achieve by post well treatment we improve the machinability also we reduce the creep and we improve the ductility okay so creep properties will improve ductility will improve okay fatigue strength will improve because you have uniform structure you know? Right. So these are the things which you achieve because of post well heat treatment. And that is the reason we try to do post well heat treatment for critical services. So we saw in the earlier chapter, whenever we have lethal service, which is very critical, when we have boilers where pressure is more than 50 PSI or direct firing in the pressure vessel, all in the three cases, the post well heat treatment requirement was mentioned. Now, where I'll get whether PWST is required or not. So, PWST depends upon what is the type of material. Yeah, absolutely right. We'll get the details in UCS 56. And it depends upon type of material and also the thickness of material. Both are very, very important. But when it is required, when it is not required, for which thickness it becomes mandatory, all that we'll see in UCS. 56 okay so here code only mentions that this is the clause which we should refer and about procedure like what should be my heating rate cooling rate what should be the heat affected zone all that is given in uw40 we'll talk about that also in further chapters i hope you understood this part stay tuned for more videos related to welding requirements.